Smudge, three one victory after a, a very sticky run. Um you must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, I mean it's the monkey off our back now, we've needed it. It's been a it has been a tough run. I think we haven't played that bad, but we've we've needed we knew it was gonna be an ugly win that would get us out of this little rut and to be fair the boys just stood up today and and dare I say it, we actually look like men out there and that's that's what's been lacking these last few games and we've needed characters, needed leaders, needed communicators. It was up another level today and I think we've dug in, you know, the pitch, fair play, it's normally a great service here, but it's very wet. We knew it was gonna be a scrappy one and, and that's that's what it's all about. That's what does get you into those playoffs and fingers crossed promotion by scrapping things out. Obviously not ideal for both teams with a, a Thursday night game with the game you know, big games ahead for both teams on the weekend as well. Obviously, to get a win like three one and look fairly comfortable, that must be pleasing as well. Yeah, I mean it's, it's that time of year now. That obviously, games that have been postponed and they've, they've got to play them. So, to be fair, we haven't got that many midweekers. So we'll take the odd and the Thursday coming here rather than going to Plymouth is, is a bonus for us. But um, no, hopefully that is the one now that gives us that bit more belief, which we've we've been low on confidence re recently. Um, but that should give us a big pick me up now, and we realise that you know we can scrap it out, we can play, we know we can play. But today, we've, when we've gone 2-1, 3-1 up, we've sat in and I don't think, I can't remember Will, I was making many, he's made a great save first half, which is still onto the bar. They've put a lot of crosses in, but I don't think they've really created that much. And then we've looked really dangerous on the, on the break. And uh, like I said, started well, Tom getting a goal in the first sort of six or seven minutes. And then partly started to feel their way back into it towards the end of the first half. What was the, the message at time to obviously spark that? Reaction. Yeah, I mean, Tom Allen, I think that's his 14th goal now. He's, he's been on a hell of a run with his goal scoring, and it's nice to get this one up again. Um, but I, I thought we were really, really comfortable first half, and we have a bit, bit of a rocket with the boys at half time because just, although we were comfortable, there's a couple of times where we've played a sloppy one across our own box or into the middle of the park when we didn't need to. It was, today was all about percentage football, playing into the channels. I thought Geff was brilliant, he was a handful up front. We know what Rick gives us. But then we had real, we had real bite about us, you know. Callum was superb. I mean, Nye Livermore was brilliant. He gives a lot of bite in there. And like I say, we look like men, and we look like we could, we could scrap it out tonight. And uh, obviously, looking ahead now to well, just 36 hours time, uh, we we head to Salisbury for a well, it's no no hiding it. It's a huge game, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're all big now, mate. You know, but luckily we're. We are in that playoff position. It's, it's ours to lose. Um, sides are trying to catch us up. If we do what we need to do, then then we'll be okay. But we need more of tonight. But like I say, Saturday's a real big one at Salisbury. Um, but we'll go there with confidence. And we know, you know when we played them at our place that it was a good, tight game. And we, we looked like men that day. So we need to do that again. Um, but they're flying up there. And if say, we win our games and we look after ourselves, then we'll be okay. And uh, obviously, with such a quick turnaround, thankfully it didn't seem like there was any sort of new injuries this evening. And good to see Fraser back on the bench. Is there any sort of squad update you can give ahead of Saturday? Yeah, so Fraser, I mean, we, he only came to do a little bit of a warm up today, but he did the warm up, said he felt all right. So, so we put, we chucked him on the bench. Um, we didn't really want to use him, only if we really had to. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be in contention for Saturday. Guess picked up a little knot, but we think he'll he'll be okay. It all depends on whether obviously his wife gives birth. She's due Saturday. Um, but yeah, Kieran's still a, a few weeks out of his. Um, but no, it'll be more or less what we've got tonight with, with Fraser added. Great, thanks, Roger. Let you get off. Cheers, Jacko.